In this video, we will compare how a bass sees colors and how a human sees them. We will take a look at how different colored baits are seen by bass, and most importantly, we're going to talk about how does this affect our fishing. We, as humans, have red, green, and blue cones in our vision. We can see and distinguish those three colors really well. Also, we see all color spectrum that can be created with these three colors. Meanwhile, there are studies that say that bass only have red and green cones in vision. They are missing the blue cone cells. When humans completely missing the blue vision, it is called tretinopia, or the absence of blue. There are websites dedicated to color blindness, and they have tools where you can upload images, and you can see how the images look in such cases. Of course, this is all designed for human vision, but this tool should help us better understand how bass see our lures. Let's start with first group of different colors crankbaits. There is wide range of colors here, and this is how humans see them. Now here is the same image, but with tretinopia filter applied, this is how bass see those crankbaits. We can notice that red, white, and silver color looks basically the same and all brown shades looks kind of reddish. The green color now has just some greenish hue and looks more like sky blue. Here is another group of different colors crankbaits. In this first picture, we can see original photo. And here is the same image, but with tritinopia filter applied. The first thing that catches the eye is that the yellow electric color is seen by the bass simply as white. And I would say it is quite popular color among fishermen. The blue color becomes as sky blue with greenish hue. Dark yellow looks like pink. Okay, this is interesting, isn't it? Now let's take a look at these soft baits. Picture in the left is original, and on the right, a filter is used to understand how the bass will see these lures. There are less bright colors, so the difference is not that big. Dark colors look almost the same. Green color again became white. It is quite strange because Tritonopia filter still has the green cone cells active, but something more complex is happening when blending of different colors. Here is a group of lipless crankbaits. We have big range different bright colors, and this is what we see after filter applied. I would say everything became dull. Mainly two shades prevail, red and white. Look, dark green looks bluish after the filter, despite the fact that the bass has green cone and missing blue. Here is another group of lipless crankbaits. It probably becomes clearer how the colors change. A big change in green and yellow and a somewhat unexpected situation with blue. The first thought was that it should not be visible to the bass at all, but it is not. He just sees it in a slightly greenish shade. Here's another comparison. This time it's soft silicone worms. The difference in the colors of different baits remains in both versions, just different shades prevail. And another group of soft baits. Pay attention to that lizard. This is where the most interesting color change occurs. So it remains to be discussed how it affects your fishing. Well, if you like to use bait colors that repeat the colors of real fish, then everything will be fine. The colors will look different to the bass than to us, but they will be the same as natural fish. But if you like bright, less natural colors, then you need to understand that they can look completely different to you and the fish. But this does not mean that such colors are wrong. If they catch fish, then why not use them? It just can happen that it seems to you that you have two different colors baits, but for bass, they look the same. So it is worth wondering if both baits are really needed for you? Well, this is all just a theory. There are fishermen who believe that colors have no effect at all, and they say that the most important thing is the work of the bait and the sound it makes. So it's best to spend more time on the water experimenting and creating your own rules. See you next time.